ends up doing the work for if for the child. Yes, yes. So the problem that you're saying is that we have taken the you know the Western system, but we have not really tailor made it to suit to our suit own yes. our own children, our own system. Yes, yes, yes. Because now it brings the issue of discrimination for those children that can't afford to buy yeah. some materials yeah. that are required of them, then they feel left out. So what 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 needs to be done? Apart from that, you also mentioned the implementers, the teachers. Yes. You know, what needs to be done in that area to just make sure that things operate smoothly for the benefit of the children? I think what is uh, uh, expected of, of us, especially for those who are in the policy level, they need to look at the, their policy. They need also to look at how this program can be implemented without really making the young ones more dependent of what their seniors or their parents or, or their old brothers and sisters can do for them so that they can submit the assignment to school. So they need mm. to have a, a policy and ensure that uh, when we are preparing these uh, young ones, the curricula in such a way that I it is controlled to, to manage the young ones to be able to do their work themselves. And, and, and even uh, when they are doing examinations, they also need to stress more on this practical aspect so that mm -hmm. you produce your own product, you produce your own innovative uh, 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 project that then can be able to be measured. For example, we have the curricula, is, they have said it is wrong to have the career paths, those who go to arts, those who go to sciences. Mm -hmm. But there is somebody in a, in a remote area in, in this republic mm who may have been good in science, but has no access to test this capability in the set institutions. Because they so don't have the laboratories. Laboratories are not there. I, if there is no resources in this republic, they need to find even the sub-county level, mm. even they go to the zone level, so that they be able to ensure that at least there is a central point where these young ones can have extra lessons to be able to get the demonstrations to the, to the things that they're supposed to do in the laboratories in the science-based subjects, so mm -hmm. that now the STEM, it is given a strong foundation. Otherwise, we are killing the spirit of the scientists who mm -hmm. are uh, purely in those in remote villages, areas. Yeah. Unlike those who are in the urban areas who can access a laboratory. Mm -hmm. If the government and uh, their own thinking, because now we have had people in the junior too now, they were junior last, they began last year, now they are moving to junior, um, uh, as, uh, junior grade eight, mm -hmm. and the ones who are who are in grade seven, nothing about uh, anything on science and uh, touching things that can shape them. Now they are in eight, nothing. So if they can sit and uh, reallocate these resources and ensure mm -hmm. in a zone where they are, like where I come from, uh, Bumagamo and uh, in Nyagaita zone, we have around 20 primary schools where CPC is already pitched. They can say of the 20, let's have five schools that have laboratories, and these young ones can be taken there in a week. They can share They can be sharing that facility. Schools, yeah. So that now they are able to expose and see if that is the area they would want to do when they go to senior secondary. Mm -hmm. This is missing. We are more of uh, theoretical, and we are, we, are, we are now becoming even worse off than the, the just the ended age for four. four. <laughs> a few weeks ago and now the results has been released. Yeah. Because if so they were able to create a model within a given a smaller unit, then people could be able to go there, get their s training, and go back and they do their training, even mm -hmm. extra hours, so that at the end of the day, the numbers in those local areas, they may not be many. So that now somebody can come out and say, I have been trained this side, I think I'm more of science. So when they go to senior, now that they already established secondary schools, the current secondary schools have laboratories mm. and uh, they have more science equipment. Yeah. They will have developed uh, that, f that area of interest so that they can proceed and do it. Okay. Like now, if I ask you, if they clear today, uh, they're going to be junior uh, two, which is grade eight. Mm. After next year, they will be going to the last phase of uh, junior secondary and they have never seen any laboratory. Have you prepared these people for that mm. career path? No, not really. We have lost them all of them now are at best. So mm. it's better than if, if the government is mm. unable to provide it, shift the junior secondary to go to the current secondary schools because already they have facilities. Exactly. So that those facilities then can help them. Mm. You know, I had somebody saying that uh, 
uh, we can now have them to go to local um, established secondary schools, the current local secondary schools. I want to tell you, my sister, that the, those that local day schools, they don't even have uh, facilities. How many kids in, a, in my, I'm using my own because I understand my <laughs> home. Yeah. I'm using my area, that is Bumagamo and uh, that's Nyageita Son. Mm. How many well-equipped secondary schools can accommodate 600 young ones moving from, uh, from uh, grade 6 to junior secondary mm. that those schools, six secondary schools in my zone can accommodate? It will be very difficult. Not practical. So, so, mm. so then if they were saying now let's move them to go the, assuming we are going to the whole way, the way it was, but we, 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 we maintain the, the thinking and the philosophy of CPC, we take them to those second schools, they will be much, much far better than what we are doing now. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing my young ones in the village there, they don't know anything about science. The only thing they know is they were taught uh, to make better as we were doing these things, uh, planting beans in uh, a closed place, in an open place, and then we'll be able to tell that this is an experiment. Now yeah. if you go to our schools, even staffing itself, you know, look at CPC, like in my school, Monga Primary. Mm -hmm. There's only one teacher. One teacher teaching how many subjects? They are around 14. Yeah. Then when the, when the government saw the numbers are too many, they are saying now they have reduced, they reduced them to That's around okay. nine or eight. <laughs> so even if you reduce the city, the same one person. And this person is not of science. It is a Kiswahiri, a geography, a trained teacher, because the two teaching subjects at the university where I teach, those two subjects, either maths, uh, mm -hmm. geography, mm -hmm. or you find somebody, religion, history, and you are telling this person that you can teach biology and you never train biology in your higher level. You only mm -hmm. use your form for training the four years you are in, in high school to teach so the young ones. It's a mix of things that the, really the ministry needs to sit down. And mm -hmm. between okay. now, before we get to the, the final stage of CPC, we'll be able to have solve this problem. Mm -hmm. we, we rushed into it. Without it is really a noble idea. It out well. One teacher, I'm not lying. One teacher, you go to a school called Monyara, one teacher, another school in my village, there, one teacher, and is managing the entire CPC junior primary, wow. uh, ju junior school, which is difficult. So very, we are losing, difficult. we will use scientists that I guess who are mm -hmm. naturally clever in the village, mm. and then rely on those of us. God has blessed us to have our one young ones to be in towns and cities, go to private schools where there are laboratories. Mm. Then we'll have an imbalanced society. Exactly. Yes. So something that's meant for good might actually not be good for yes. for the ones that are less privileged, yes. at least. Yes. And there's also the issue of uh, digital divide. When we're speaking about CBC, we're also talking about innovation, mm. and uh, you know. You have talked about those that are interested in joining in doing STEM courses. Then yes. they are not so privileged because they don't even have the labs. Yes. So um, with even STEM, uh, just the previous interview that I was doing, we were talking about I the integration of AI and STEM. You know, AI is technology. Mm. So how are these children in these villages in these remote areas, uh, you know, accessing the internet? How are they um, getting to learn about technology like the students that are? the pupils that are in, you know, in the cities? <laughs> there is no internet in the village. They said, the government of the day said they were to put hotspots mm -hmm. in the given points within uh, the, the, the counties. Yeah. To this hour, it's not there. Nothing has been done. You know, if it is not there now, and already we have moved to grade eight, mm. they have already missed in the grade One seven. Year. They are now missing in the grade, grade eight. Mm. Amidst these challenges of staffing, it is not there. The only area they can get internet is in maybe your phone. Mm -hmm. I, I look at my own kids in the town where I am. They are given assignments. You go and uh, print in the computer. You get the information they've been given. Go and search about mammals, for example. Mm -hmm. Go and search about uh, plants. And when you search about, they say now print and bring it to us. But you see the problem that happens is you print. I am able to print. Even at night, I can walk to the cyber, print, and take it to my young ones. Mm -hmm. I may have a Wi-Fi in my house. But I'm looking at, in, in broader view, a majority of these Kenyans, 
mm. where they will get the internet and the computer facilities. Mm -hmm. Tell me which public schools even this Nairobi that has a, a computer laboratory. There is none. Mm -hmm. So, so we, we, it's like people talking about building a mansion. We can build a mansion with you here. We discuss about a mansion and build it. But we, can't, we can build in talking. But in actual sense, we may not have that mansion because it requires a lot of resources. Mm. That is what is happening now. Because we seem to say if you who is in the upper city, you have taken your kids to, to one of the sc private schools and they are okay, you assume that everybody is okay. Yeah. There is a lot of outcry down in the village. Mm -hmm. The internet you are talking about is not there. What we are saying about the artificial intelligence and other mode of getting data is not there. Mm -hmm. The only thing that they are able to, to do is, do you know, do you know what is funny is uh, the, 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 the physical activities that uh, the kids are taught in my village schools. Mm -hmm. Not only village schools, even some uh, government schools in town, they are told a class of swimming. They go and they swim in the floor. Uh, the teacher is there and showing, even the teacher is showing them how to swim, to in, the swim in the floor. You know, you it's know. very unfortunate. Y you, see, you see what we are doing because that is an area. Somebody would want later on to move to that particular area, be an expert. Mm. And this will generate the resources for this person. Exactly. But you have seen, the, 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 you have seen the clips walking around. People are swimming here in the floor. Yeah. It's a course. It's a course. It's, that, it's a test. Mm. So you are being tested and you are told the faster... You cr you crawl in the in, in the on ground. The, floor, the, faster the better, you the faster you are. The grade, the higher the grade you get. Now, what is what is innovation in in swimming in the ground? Nothing. There's so so, so nothing that's, uh, there. those are, those are, you those are just few that mm. we are able to see, mm -hmm. and uh, many more with the human resource vacant. Then it means we are not actualizing the dream and the idea behind this CBC. Perhaps we rushed into it without knowing that uh, it required a lot of resources and interventions. You mm. see, like now, the 844 is gone. Uh, I pray that the minister and their team, they will be able to come up with remedial uh, uh, approaches to help us yeah. put it in track. So I've given you one example of swimming. Mm. But uh, in the towns, yeah, people go to, they pull together, go to maybe to a resort, and they swim, and then somebody is training them, and they are scored. Yeah. But now in the village, they are put outside there, it's the an ground, unfair competition. Even the teacher swim, uh, swims in the ground. In the floor. In the floor. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling it's you those very, are the it's challenges. It's very unfortunate yeah. and there's an unfair advantage that the people in yeah, the city true. have over very those true. that are in mm -hmm. the village. Talking about, you've just mentioned the just concluded 844. Um, we can't finish this conversation without speaking about so. the just re released KCP results. And yesterday um, at the National Assembly, the members of parliament were debating and uh, complaining basically to the chair of education, um, saying that, you know, the, the results that we are seeing, NEC is really not giving credible uh, you know, output from what the public expected from other parents and, and the pupils entrusted them with because there are a lot of anomalies, there's a lot, you know, of unfairness just judging from the outcome of the results. Some people received um, results for sign language in, instead of Swahili. We had others, school, the, a school who had same grades, same grades the whole 75. 75, 75 yes. Exactly. Mm. So that's an abnormality. It's not, it's not something that normally happens. So what should be done? Should we call for a remarking? Should we call for a re-examination? You know, or should we just let them proceed with those results? What happens to those that feel that they, they have been, you know, um, you know, um, treated wrongly yeah. by this? Uh, okay, my own opinion is uh, it has never happened. Uh, of all the years I've been around, we have never had such a, a serious happening. I want them to treat this as they treated those who were cheating in exams, we saw police and many people running around. Mm -hmm. We need to see police now running around the, 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 the neck offices exactly. there. So that they be able to get who best this. Mm -hmm. you, you saw like schools from my village, um, a giant a national school getting students from all over. Police were running everywhere. Mm -hmm. They have stolen. They have also stolen. Yeah. They have stolen the fairness and the justice for the Kenyan child. And these are just children. Yeah, they, they don't know anything. Mm. They, these children, they have done their exams fairly. What 
my own opinion is number one the 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 chair of the the, the academic i mean the the chair for the the committee of education, education. in the parliament mm -hmm. they need to dig deeper before they even make judgment of what is to be done they need to dig deeper and find out why this happened to a school like this one of kitengera mm -hmm. a school that we have been seeing performing very well yeah and then they end up getting the very best student is 308. imagine it which doesn't is, make sense it doesn't make any sense so and why why were they rushing who was chasing them to release this is we have been around <laughs> christmas is not yet here. who told I mean, them who told them the parents who, who 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 had a child in 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 in, in grade in standard eight mm -hmm. had not prepared for secondary uh, you, you know no you cannot cha begin charging me saying now we release now so that they, they begin prepare preparing <laughs> and you release wrong results. You are disadvantaging these other Kenyans. Mm -hmm. The only thing that is required of them is to look at the scripts for those specific interested parties, the affected uh, students, and be able to give it mm -hmm. another thought. Alternatively, mm -hmm. because it has been affected, we may not even be 100% comfortable that the result that has been released is for these other Kenyans. Exactly. There could be somebody who did poorly and is at the top. There is somebody who did very, very well, well and has been put the down there. So what is there is they need to have a committee to thoroughly review this and uh, stop anything about going to do the admissions and now exactly. they want to go and choose uh, who goes where. Because already it is disputed and the courts have pronounced themselves, they need to stop. They mm -hmm. need to look for a committee, audit the entire results, and then be mm -hmm. able to give it out. Even us in the university, mm -hmm. when things happen and they are not properly done, we have external examiners who are able to look at it. Was there a second, a second eye that looked at these scripts that were marked? Why rush and it is something that is going to affect a big number of, 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 of the rest of, I mean, of a team that moved as a block and then you disadvantage the ones who was preparing, like that young girl from uh, I saw from um, from um, from uh, Kitengera, she said she was dreaming of going to Mary Hill, and she, what she's called is not her grade. And when they checked the record, the girl has been doing very well and prepared. You know, somebody's thinking, how can I get the best and get to the best school? And then here you are giving them everybody, even in Florida's, giving them seventy-five percent. Mm -hmm. So I think there is a serious audit that is required. That's the first thing. I commit people there, even court, to, to, to push the, the neck to do an audit and give a report. And, and if they, whatever it is, is is fair, then the next phase of admission to start. But mm -hmm. we wrong them because they were in such a hurry speed. It's like somebody was going for a sabbatical leave or somebody was leaving this country. All the examiners were going, all the machines were, were expiring. I think they were in a hurry for no good reason because now they are put, even I'm sure those young ones seated somewhere, psychologically, I don't know who will be able to manage them. So I think what is required of, of, of the government and of the, our people in the parliament is to give it a fair uh, process so that everybody is satisfied. Mm -hmm. That's how I, 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 myself I would, I would be able to, to okay. support. Okay, yes. mm -hmm. I think that's fair enough because, you know, it will be just good for, for the class eight candidates, the ones who sat, mm -hmm. and this being the last eight before exam, mm -hmm. to, to live in peace and just yeah, know true. that justice, mm -hmm. justice is done, yeah. justice can be done yeah. indeed. Yeah. All right, uh, moving now from there to now how the students are received in their university from from high school. We know, uh, I, you know, most people know about the transition, yes. but now to high school, to no, not to high school, okay, to high school and then to university. Yes, yes, yes. yes tell us about it. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. I think um, when uh, students are moving from high school to university, mm -hmm. particularly now we have several of our, the ones, the students who did from four, they're in the village. When they move to the university, they also have other challenges the social life challenges because mm -hmm. we have experience when the students move to the university yes they get there and if they were not properly guided uh, when they were still in those uh, formative uh, stage that is in, um, in form one uh, to form four then they see new things 
-hmm. they, are, they have more freedom than the freedom that they had in the secondary and the primary because they were watched. Mm -hmm. At the university, we leave them. Do what they want. There is no timetable. There is no bell to ring. There is nothing, there is nobody <laughs> telling them go the this way. It together. is memos, like memos, you mm -hmm. get to the notes board and they get to your emails, get to your the, to the web page. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to get communication. And this freedom is what has affected our young people. Yeah. Why am I saying this? Because you find in first year and second year, we have high cases of uh, young ones mm -hmm. getting pregnant. You find in first year and second year, drugs are more abused. It's because, you know, the, the, you, know you get somewhere and you're told, this is the first time you are free, you are cooking for yourself, you can walk the way you want, nobody is going to say by nine you need to be in my house, everything is free. They end up messing up and we lose these young ones in first year and second year because they lacked proper guidance. They even end up failing in their courses. And when they fail their courses, sometimes they are sent home to come with uh, their parents. The dean of students will run the matter. Sometimes they are put on, uh, on a notice that you are not doing any better. Why is because when you came the first year and second year, you found the environment is free. So what does this then mean to us? It means that as we have now the candidates waiting for their results and possibly proceeding to university, as parents, we need to begin now talking to our young ones. Mm -hmm. Give them an opportunity and make them read us in your house. Give them opportunity so that they see they have grown from childhood to youth now. They can make their decisions. Allow them to mingle with the rest of the people, the good people, of course. And then allow them even to participate in community activities. And by mixing like that, uh, it will make them, when they go to the, to ha to the university, mm -hmm. they become a bit responsible. Yeah. They even do manual work, do, uh, do uh, kibarua here and there. Be able to even go to church choirs and sing there. It's not, this is not the time to send them to go to their relatives in the village. Yeah. Because the relatives in the village, in the city, they may care less and leave these young ones, end up misbehaving. Uh, you see our society is so evil. So at the end of the day, we end up losing them. Mm -hmm. So this gap of these people misbehaving in their first and second year in the university, going into drugs, m morally they are not okay. Even their dress code is not uh, is not because they, they were they were wearing well when they were in a, in, a, in a high school. It is because of lack of these discussions, freeness between the parents and these young ones, and that's why we want when they are at home like now, the parents need to really involve in discussing and giving them what there is the, in the society out there, what is it expected of them, mm -hmm. so that they maintain that culture, and when they get to the university, even if they were left alone, mm -hmm. they will be able to control themselves. Uh, that's right. why I say, in admission, they look innocent, the first, uh, <laughs> first uh, one, two, three months. When they intermingle with others, they now want to dress differently, behave like they them. They found some new freedom. A, a new freedom they have never had. Then now they find another, another boyfriend. That first year, and you are a first year, would never marry you. It is only somebody who somewhere maybe was clear the university would marry these uh, these girls who are in the first year. Yeah. They end up messing themselves, and when they have another kid, the gentleman disappears. And then now you, you if you walk if you walk to our universities, I'm telling you that's where we have high cases of people committing suicide. It's because of the situation I'm telling you. Mm. Because I am there, I can attest to that. I remember like one year we saw like 30 girls, they are pregnant. 30 girls. Oh Look at that. Their parents have been so good, so faithful, invested from form one to form, from, from nursery from to, to form four, mm -hmm. only to be surprised in the first f two months of university. Yeah. So, so, so that is what is expected of us, more talking and uh, giving these people freedom uh, with the responsibility, trying to ensure that they are responsible, mm -hmm. giving them opportunity to intermingle with us so that the, when they get to the university, it's not a girls' university. It's a mixed university. Maybe somebody was in a Bangan girls, now he has gone to the University of Nairobi, and everybody is a mixture for everybody. Now, that excitement 
Yeah. You end up messing, and one you find another boy who has come from Mango, then they become friends. Then, then that friendship ends into with tears. Else. Into tears. Yes. Yes. Okay, it's very telling of uh, you know how raise how the parents have been raising kids. If you know if we're getting such numbers at the university getting pregnant, so as you've said, it's freedom with responsibility yes. that they need to yeah. to at least uh, raise the parent them with. Yeah. And uh, before we finish this. You uh, off air. You were talking about, um, you know, how media really um, sort of uh, shows yeah. the <laughs> the yeah. glory. You know, the, yeah, the people yeah, that yeah, have yeah, passed yeah. and forget mm, those yeah, that have yeah. failed. I don't know how you'd expect us to to have it otherwise, <laughs> and why. You know, uh, we we tend to praise, give honor. Like the, the the ones who top in this Republican KCP or KCS is coming, mm -hmm. it also will be out soon. Yeah. I hope they will not have the message like the one we have. Hopefully, once it is out, the media looks for the top of the top. Every media house, they would want to discuss with the, with this best performing uh, child. Mm -hmm. They forget that there is one who also tried his best and got 199 mm -hmm. and they got 100. Mm -hmm. We praise grades more than what will be the result and outcome of this person. Mm -hmm. So that's why when we look at what is happening, a young one seated in the watching now in this program and sees somebody who got good grades, you know, morally, this guy is affected. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, I think I shared with you about success. Success is not about an A. Success is about you as a person. It's like the cloth that we are wearing, all of us. If I remove this and wear this inside out, it will still remain to be what? A cloth. Mm. So what happens is the, the grade in this person has, has given knowledge, the person has got the knowledge, but we're using the knowledge that we have given in writing, we have forgotten that there are other areas this person can succeed. Can try, Remember yeah. a, few years, a few years back, a child who scored 100 and uh, 140 some years back, when the Honorable Matiang was the Minister for Education. Mm -hmm. I'm glad for that media house that traced this young one. They were able to show the marks that girl scored and the grade the girl scored at form four. Two different varying environments. The primary environment mm -hmm. was different, second was different. That young girl scored a B plus. Look at that. So if, if had we then talked to these people, like I've told you about the CPC, city and the village, where, where village, the areas they cannot do and areas in town people can do. We, we, we would have missed this young, we would have used this young one to encourage others. We are not saying that uh, everybody to fail so that they are brought here. We are simply saying that we give them an opportunity. There could be something better they would want to do. You realize even the top performing, somebody would come here and tell you, I want to be a pilot, I want to be this, I want. And if you trace them after from four, you will be surprised. They At some point, they are not there. Turn out to be, <laughs> and yeah. you find somebody completely different who is now a champion at, at, at Form 4, doing very well, and possibly never got, was not the top student. We praise them for the hard work, mm -hmm. but we need also you media to also give it an opportunity for, uh, for those. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody who like now in, in, in an area, interior area like Turkana, who has gotten 100 marks and is put to an environment that is so good, you'll find them also doing doing better. Mm -hmm. So what we are saying is, let's give them an opportunity. Failure is not failure. It is just success that is turned inside out. And when you realize that at this point, it has been turned upside down or inside out, then you, you, you re-evaluate yourself. You know, these young ones, they may re-evaluate themselves. And when they go out there, they get good energies. Why have you never asked yourself that when somebody failed in the first attempt, it comes the second attempt, is the top child. And uh, 
in the first days, you never interviewed him or her when he had the yeah, lowest right. marks. <laughs> he was when he was in his lowest. Okay. <laughs> Are you getting so the point? I, I, I'm getting your uh, your argument there that yes. you know there's hope in, even in this one that yes. the story turns out different when yeah. they get to the higher learning and it serves as a good example to to show to the others. So maybe it's something we can we can try out this time. Hopefully, uh, we'll have a different story to tell. Yeah. All right, so now as we come to a close on this, what, what advice do you want to give um, a youth out there or a teenager who's sat for the exam, class eight exam, or anything that you'd want to say really, and maybe your social handles, if someone wants to reach out to you, this is your camera. Okay, uh, thank you very much. I think uh, we have uh, discussed. Yeah. But what I want to tell our youths out there, uh, responsibility, Mm -hmm. uh, helps one to succeed in his um, career path. And if you become honest and hard working in the things you are doing, you probably succeed. Uh, parents back at home give your young ones an opportunity to work. Give them an opportunity to read, even to manage your house. And when they manage your house, they become more responsible. Give them an opportunity to integrate with responsible people. So that when they move to the higher level, they are a bit responsible and they'll be able to succeed. You know, if you read Philippians 4, uh, 13, it talks about you can do all things through him who gives you strength. So Jesus gives you strength. So what is required of us is if you have cleared your whole level and you are at home, you have college, you are at home, whatever comes your way, do it. Don't say you are a professional accountant or say you are a medic. Do it and, and whatever money comes from there, when you want to buy something, it's not going to tell you that uh, uh, you got this money from, uh, from uh, cleaning the toilet or uh, going to somebody's garden or uh, washing clothes. It is money and it will help you proceed to the next level. Mm -hmm. So what we would want to urge the government is uh, fairness, like now the recent KCP. And of course, look at the policy implementation of the CPC. We are crying down there nothing we call career path. We believe once uh, the, the authority sits down and looks at the resources, don't send a CRE teacher, I used to be a teacher, to a, a one of the schools that is uh, approved to be a CPC center and then end up uh, asking the teacher to teach biology and they never trained in biology. Alternatively, merge these schools and give them c CPC center registration so that we have very few schools, as much as they may have many, many kids, but they have the equipment to really realize the vision and the mission of this CPC uh, program. I think uh, mm -hmm. to that end, uh, I'm happy that uh, we will continue having this conversation around academics, career, and uh, youth empowerment so that we, we build our own uh, resources within the Republic and without so that we'll be able to change our thinking and our resource mobilization in our republic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, thank yeah. you very much, you. Uh, especially for the insightful, um, you know, uh, knowledge that you've given us, uh, you know, and your perspective on the education system in Kenya and what we need to do. Um, we hope to have you next time. Thank you. Come on board. That thank has you. been uh, Dr. Kennedy Ntabo Tiso currently serves as a senior lecturer and head of Department of Business Administration um, or Management Science in the School of Business at Koitelel Samoa University College. This is a constituent college of the University of Nairobi. I do hope that you've taken something from this particular interview and thank you for staying with us throughout the show. It's been amazing. Thank you. We always appreciate your company. Uh, right now we're going to uh, have you enjoy the music that's there. Remember, you can always interact with us at Y254 channel. The hashtag today is Thursday Vibes. Or if you like Y in the morning, my personal handle is at Stephanie Ayata. And we also have at Grasha Maingi. Talk to us, follow us. Uh, see you tomorrow. Have a great day ahead. Enjoy the rest of your viewing.